Welcome to the First Beat Sports Coach app. Let's explore how to use it. First, download the Coach app from the App Store and log in with the same user credentials as to the Sports Cloud. If your account is using Coach app for the very first time, you need to pair the sensors to the athlete profiles. Begin by selecting the Sensor Management view. Activate the sensors without an athlete profile by touching the sensor pins. The sensor without an athlete profile will appear. On the right side, tap on the human icon and select the athlete profile you want to pair with the sensor. You can now see that the sensor was paired with an athlete profile. You can change the paired profile just by selecting a new one. If you want to unpair the sensor for storage purposes, you can do so as well. On the left side, you will find the sensor number, which is displayed on the back of the sensor. Above it, you will find the athlete's name, and on the right side of it, the sensor state, sensor firmware number, notifications about the sensor, battery state, and signal strength. Now you are ready to start live monitoring. Open the live view from the left panel. Live tiles for each athlete will appear as soon as sensor is in standby mode and within range. At the lower corner of each tile, you see how long each sensor has been recording. In the left upper corner, you will find the team average, followed by individual values for each athlete. From the right upper corner, you can filter the athletes you want to see in this view. You can also change the metrics you want to monitor. You can select up to six metrics simultaneously. The color of the live tiles will change according to the heart rate zones of the athlete. On the lower left corner, you will find the live charts feature. Here, data is presented in chart form, making it easier to analyze how, for example, the heart rate has responded to each interval. Begin by highlighting the athletes you want to have a look at by tapping on their picture. As in the previous view, you can filter athletes and choose metrics from the top right corner. Finally, in the bottom right corner, you will find the eye icon, which allows you to show or hide non-highlighted graphs. On the lower left corner, you will also find the real-time lap management feature. Click on the stopwatch icon to open the lap management view. Click the start new lap button to start a new lap. You can add the name of the lap by using the drop down menu or add your own name. You can change the name of the lap anytime. Adding new names or reusing existing names is supported. You can also select the athletes included in the lap. Athlete sensors seen by the coach app in range are proposed to be added automatically. You can start or stop a lap anytime and deleting created laps is possible. When you're ready with your team sessions, click on stop to save the session. In the session management view, you can select the team you want to assign the session to, adjust the length of the session, give a title for the session, select the sport, type of session, fill in notes, and select the participated athletes. All athletes from the selected team in range are automatically included. After clicking on Done, you will be guided automatically to the download view. Here you can download data either automatically or manually. The blue number on the download icon indicates how many measurements are on the sensor. Once data is downloaded from the sensor, the measurement list will turn into a cloud icon and display a blue number indicating how many measurements are waiting upload to the cloud. As soon as the download process completes, the upload process will start via internet connection. The measurement list will indicate with a green number how many measurements have been uploaded to the cloud.
To enable automatic download, toggle the feature on the lower right corner. When automatic download is active, the app will immediately start to download all sensors that are in range and aren't recording. The arrow icon indicates that the sensor is in the queue. The Bluetooth icon signifies that the app is connecting to the sensor, and a blue bar will indicate the download process. Once the download is ready for a sensor, you will see a green check mark. After all sensors are downloaded, a summary of the download process will appear, indicating the number of sensors from which data was downloaded and how many measurements were downloaded in total. If you prefer to download data manually from sensors, you have two options. You can either select one sensor at a time for download or download all sensors simultaneously. In the home view, you will find information about the recent team training sessions, including the session name, date, start time, duration, and how many athletes participated in that session. You will also find for how many athletes the data has been downloaded and uploaded for that session. From the right upper corner, you can enlarge this view to see the status for each athlete. Green means all data is downloaded and uploaded, while blue means that either the data is not downloaded from the sensor or not uploaded from the iPad to the cloud. By tapping on the three dots, you can send an incomplete PDF report if you want to receive the team report quickly before data is downloaded for each athlete. From the upper left corner, you can select the team you want to view in the app. Additionally, you have the option to select no team if you want to see all athletes under your account. In the lower left corner, you'll find the menu. Here, you can access important basic information, for example, on how to wear the sensor, how to take care of the strap, and how to change the sensor battery. If you encounter any technical problems, you are likely to find the answer in our support center. If not, please submit a ticket where you describe the problem and upload log files so we can resolve the issue more efficiently. If you experience problems with a sensor, you can reset it back to factory settings. But please note that this action will delete all data stored on the sensor. If you want to check your team's recovery, tap on Quick Recovery on the left panel. By tapping on the question mark, you will find some general guidelines for the test. It's recommended to read through them to get reliable results. You can start the test either one at a time by tapping on the play icon or by pressing start all on the bottom right corner. The test will last three minutes and afterward, you will immediately get the quick recovery score if you have internet connection. And that's it. Now you are ready to use the first Beat Sports Coach app.